shaft the project from start to finish, okay? Let's go find where I extracted my data to. I use ctemp. Things will be a little slower because I'm using my laptop. I'm going to add my shasta circle, make sure that my layers are in the correct Albus projection now, which they are, that assured that. So there I'll add my two pieces that are downloaded from the National Map Viewer. Let's get those in. And let's just make that circle a little easier to see, right? There we go, looking good. Okay, let's convert the two images into albers. Remember, choose the data frame up here. Remember to check where you si si save it to. That's not the right place. Okay, C temp. Okay, there. Okay, and I'm just going to call this a1.img. Yeah, I think I did that in class as well. It wants the folder first, and then it wants a name second, right? Okay, add a bit of compression just to make the file size smaller. Check it to the data frame, looks good to me. Okay, would you like to export it to the map? Yes. Contact it after that. Okay, it doesn't. Okay. So that's the first one done, A1. Okay. Whenever you whenever you do one, it's a good idea to get rid of the old one so you don't confuse yourself as to which layer means which. Now minimize the number of layers you have open. Okay, data frame is tiff, C temp, data. A2. Check the compression again. Okay, that looks like it worked. We got A1, A2 in there, we got the circle, and so now I can mosaic them, okay? Mosaic. Raster. Okay, there's that. Do the first one. For this to work, you have to make sure that your spatial, spatial analyst extension is turned on. Okay, so I'll just get the two rasters in there. One, two, get the output location set again. Okay, so this is mosaic.img. Don't worry about the spatial reference, it, it'll set it to the one that the inputs are. And this is 32 bit float because it has decimal places. Number of bands is one. Uh, spill size doesn't matter, I'll just collect it from the raster. And we'll just use the maximum just in case it overlaps or it shouldn't. Okay. okay, looks like that's finished. So again, get rid of the ones we don't need, right? Next step is going to be to make our hill shade, right? Make that. Make the spatial analyst, because that's what I just turned on. And we're going to make the full default values here. Okay. Our hill shade. Okay, so now we've got our hill shade. Uh, let's clip them both. Uh, clip reserved for raster, so we'll use extract by mask. Extract by mask is what clips a raster to a vector. So, okay. Put them both in, hill shade. Showing the one to be clipped, raster. Okay. The vector is going to clip at the circle. And if it's hill shade, probably the result vector is hill shade. Um, Okay, let's get rid of the old 
have one that we no longer need. And let's repeat it for the uh, EEM. Okay. This time it's not the old page, right? This is the mosaic. Okay. Let's just bring up the EEM final. Okay, again, get rid of the one we don't need. Okay, big fan of that. Uh, let's get to a pay per view that works pretty well. Okay, let's use a square for this. Okay, so 11 by 11, not a bad size. Okay, so. oh, GS has never really been good at giving you a nice page layout, so you can kind of do it yourself. with your own level of transparency and you need to change the brightness of the hill shade you can do that as well by going into the hill shade of the old look a bit too dark which can happen sometimes okay so there we go all right this is a useful button okay. there we go it's not quite to be as centered as last time okay let's give it a title okay Okay, let's work on some basic cartographic elements now. You'll notice my laptop does run a little slower. So. Don't like numbers like seven or point three or something in a scale bar. We actually like nice round numbers because the scale bars meant to help people align find their distance and align themselves. So there we go. Okay. It's always a good idea to put the author in too. Uh, let's get elections in. We just need the elections, I think. So, I remember that little trick we had was copy this and then paste it. Okay. And we'll rename the one we pasted. Elevation. Okay. And we'll take off the transparency. Off the transparency. What's 
Hasta luego.